we're going to discuss crypto bubbles in this video. The Bitcoin conference, as it is the most optimistic gathering we have ever held concerning the subject of Bitcoin since it has ever been discussed. And individuals seem to be growing bearish for unknown reasons. It's beyond me. John Dion discloses his holdings in cryptocurrencies. We're going to examine the Spot Ethereum ETF and the Bitcoin ETF since exactly what we anticipated is happening. And an XRP is poised for a significant, yes, a significant boom. I've got you covered. Remain seated. Unwind and let's get started with Bitcoin. With $64,500 worth of Ethereum trading at $3.16, it is currently down 8.77%. As USDC comes in at a pitiful $0.99 cents and USDT is approaching its dollar pips, it's almost as if XRP converted $0.60 cents into a lovely bottom. I'm holding on to $0.60 cents here, right, and it's down 3.29%. I don't think my eyes are going crazy, but not so long ago, I believed we were at 61 cents on this thing. As you can see, we retested the 63 cent threshold. We couldn't break the previous runeups high on XRP, which was 64 cents. Instead, we were attempting to reach a greater high. And we've come up short. From here, where do we go? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the week, things will get rough. Weak and a very, extremely volatile till loaded weak, and that is just what the 2 trillion, 324 billion total market capitalization for cryptocurrencies is. It's huge news that cryptocurrency friendly revolt has obtained a UK banking license at last. People, after much development, this is now available at last. Claim that revolt has moved into a mobilization phase intended for the operation of new banks. These limitations and take a look at this. What have we already seen over here? The advertisements, the Ethereum inline advertisements, I believe ETF states revolt was granted a three-year banking license with limitations by the Credential Regulation Authority. They had to apply for a banking license for three years before receiving one. Let's consider this in light of XRP. XRP see how long it took to see how banks and governments function with Ripple. To obtain a license, Ripple. How long do you think Ripple will take to persuade these banks to upgrade their antiquated banking systems, transfer from the old to the new financial system, and then integrate a digital asset? Revolt took three years to obtain a license. Dealing with banks and governments is a laborious and slow process. With the Revolt's approval, it is now on the path to becoming a fully functional UK bank with a license to provide cryptocurrency services. This is really incredible. I believe that they may or may not be referred to as a bank payment company. Turning into a there will be a great deal more. Of this, and this is the desired outcome. Thus you can come in, do your banking, purchase cryptocurrency, obtain additional cryptocurrency, and have them all done in one place. Hold on to your cryptocurrency, because more businesses similar to this spin-up will emerge. To obtain the license, one is required. And after that, others can do the same course. No, it won't take three years for each. For every business that applies, this will begin to move more quickly and it will seem like a 24 to 48 hour procedure before you realize it. Get them in, get them out, all prepared and ready to go right now. Bada beam, bada boom. We examine it. This website, Crypto Bubbles, demonstrates how to break it down hourly. The week, the month, and the year by this lists every cryptocurrency that is currently available, sorted by market capitalization, day, etc. This list contains the great majority of entries ranging from 1 to 100. We can scroll down to view even more, but as you can see, everything has a negative in front of I want to know why people are currently so negative about cryptocurrencies. When the largest Bitcoin conference is about to take place, everyone is indeed seeing things negatively today. Gala is being battered. Gala is mine. I avoid even glancing at the Gala Gala. I find it repulsive. I promise to be completely honest with you. Cardano is yet another one that is truly repulsive at the moment, but all of these will improve, people. The Bitcoin conference is only one example. Who the hell is Donald Trump going to be the headlining speaker? 
speaking and promoting Bitcoin there Michael S. will be present. Edward Snowden, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and Kathy Wood do you think this is the most bullish of all the speakers who will be there, along with all the politicians who will be building out on these technologies? We are going to receive nothing but good news from this conference, which is unprecedented in our experience. Given that this is an election year, the market will undoubtedly become more optimistic. If things go well, I would elect a new president in the U.S. because the current president is done and not running again. However, if we elect a new president, they will be pro-crypto and will actually enact regulations for businesses, which will lead to a large influx of capital into the cryptocurrency markets and help the U.S. economy flourish. I have said as much. Retail investors are limited to using these cryptocurrency marketplaces and manipulating them our money can only go so far right now because institutional funding is required to access the market. John Dion discloses he claims that 80% of his net worth is invested in Bitcoin. He also has substantial holdings in Ethereum, XRP, and Solana. Dion is, after all, keeping things rather easy, right? He is working through his list. First, the Solana at number 2 is in theory, there are 5 of the 4 stables and XRPs that we do not count. He's keeping things simple, the man knows what he loves, so he can't criticize them there. The only thing he doesn't have is BNB. This was shared by a reliable cryptocurrency, and it comes from Tree News, BlackRock's Daily. Bitcoin exchanges we examine this data, which comes from the block of the spot Bitcoin ETF flows for ETF 523. Million. Look, what did we observe when this was initially announced? As anticipated, we see a lot of red, but what else did we gradually observe? Guys, are we starting to run out and the buys are beginning to pick up steam? Examine this. Is what we're witnessing with I am. The price of the Ethereum ETF was going to drop as we all knew it would, and our targets were likely to be between $26,800 and $28,900. And what will occur after that? This year, it will increase to $5,000. The playbook remains the same. Seemingly, only as Ethereum. This time, everything will be different. Never be around for the ETF. No, that's not it. Is unique correct? This is how it works. You bought Ethereum when reports of an impending ETF started to circulate. Bought the rumor, sold the news. ETF was released. It would have been best if you had sold. When it's over, you exit and reinvest because that's when we start to see a return in net inflows. And this recently published essay. An enormous spike is expected for XRP. Everybody is a I won't reveal who, but a prominent surge expert claims that the third elite wave, yes, the third elite wave, could push XRP to $22. This forecast was provided by the analyst. I've written about this man before since he is a complete moron and only cares about the clickbait in this story. Genuinely block me for criticizing him. He stated that, yes, at this particular moment, XRP ought to be worth about $8. That is obviously untrue, but let's focus on the cost for now. Could a $22 XRP, which would be the ultimate blow-off peak, occur in this cycle, target? Do I believe we will reach a $22 XRP, or do we need to witness a large rotation of money from traditional markets into the cryptocurrency markets? It's too early to tell, in my opinion. As I mentioned earlier, if we look at the current price of XRP, the first stop is $0.75. Cents. Where are our 60 cents drifting to? We have 66 cents and 75 cents, and the requirement of 75 cents needs to be broken before the end of the year. If it is, you can predict that we will be aiming for a minimum of roughly $6 XRP. That's the direction we will be looking. If we can end the year nearer to the record high of $92, which was set in 20221, that's about when we can get going, Mark. We're talking about a tenfold increase and approaching $20, correct? For the time being, though, let's not get ahead of ourselves and assume that we will become agitated for no apparent cause. Now let's examine XRP. Let's examine the price as it stands. 
It's almost time for XRP's pump, so let's get ready for the altcoin market. I would advise giving it a try in September. October is when we should expect to see XRP. That's all you need to do, make the necessary movement and push towards 75 cents. Let's do this, to be cheering for. By step, let's break it at 75 cents. First, after which we may unwind and look at the following targets. However, we shouldn't be discussing a $20 XRP until the 75 cents are broken. 